Hello guys, welcome to the 2021 Discover Shanti Online Winter Camp. Uh, I'm Tobi and I'm from Germany and today we came to the Historical Museum of Shanxi and I've brought my nice friend Grace because she knows a lot about the history of Shanxi and today she will tell us something about it. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Grace. Hi, Toby. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah. And now here we are in Shanxi Museum. So okay. is this your first time you have been to Shanxi Museum? Uh, yes, it's my first time. So I would like to know a lot about it. Okay, so yeah. this is the main building of Shanxi Museum. When we're standing here, you may notice that the inner space is kind of special, right? Mm, so yeah. yeah, that is uh, come from the, the model is the ancient uh, Chinese wooden pagoda, oh, which has a okay. history of over 1,000 years. Oh. And uh, there are 12 exhibitions of Shanxi Museum. The museum is the ancient history of Shanxi province. Oh, so we will see. see the many cultural relics from the Stone Age to the Ming and the Qing dynasties. Uh, so, how, how old is the uh, Shanxi culture? Uh, the culture can be started from uh, about uh, 100 and uh, 1.8 million years ago. Oh, <laughs> so old, okay. Yeah, so are uh, you excited? Yes, yes, okay, yes very so much. Let's go. Okay, okay so, so let's have okay. a look. Let's go. So the first exhibition I'd like to introduce mm -hmm. to you is the most important exhibition of Shanxi Museum. Yeah, the, okay. Its name is The Achievement of Jing State. Ah. Actually, the first word, Jing, is the short name of Shanxi province. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so the Jing State is actually about 2,000 years ago. It used to be the ah. most powerful state in the central plain. Ah, I okay. see. So I'd like to introduce the most representative one of Shanxi province. Okay. Okay, let's okay. go. Okay, this way. Sounds interesting. Hi, Toby. Is hi, this hi. cute? Yeah, it looks very cool. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's the kind of logo of Shanxi Museum. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, the name is the bird shaped Zun. So oh. it is look like a big bird, right? Yeah, yeah. The Actually, bird. that is the phoenix. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, this is the kind of bird shaped Zun because the people in ancient China, they like phoenix very much. So did mm. you find there is another small bird? Yeah, on yeah. the top, right? Yeah, yeah, snuggling up on its bank. And actually, the small bird is the handle of ah, the cover. Okay. So it can be opened. Open, open. And the last name is Zun here. Mm -hmm. Chinese words is ah, Zun. Zun. Yeah. So that means the foundation of this vessel is a kind of white container. What container? Wine container. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Wine. You can drink <laughs> yeah, out of it. Yeah, wine container. Okay. And uh, the tail. Yes. Did you find another animal? Uh, that doesn't look like a bird. I'm not yeah, sure. not Maybe. bird. Yeah. Another animal? Hmm. How to say? I don't know. <laughs> it's a kind of elephant. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in ancient China, they like phoenix, they like elephant, mm -hmm. so they want to them together. Uh, so we always said okay. maybe the Asian China, uh, they like they they were very romantic, mm -hmm. so they bring them together. Okay. Yeah, and this vessel used for sacrificing. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like the lord or emperor, they must uh, pray for something, yeah, so they need uh, food and uh, wine for mm -hmm. sacrificing. So this one used for holding wine. Okay. Okay. And uh, could you imagine the original color of bronze vessel? Original the original color. color. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, must be very shining maybe? Yeah, very yeah. shining, yeah. just like gold. Oh, not very green, beautiful. not yeah, black. Now yeah, over so, the time it changed the color. Yeah. yeah, so the bronze vessel only belonged to the noble people in mm, ancient China.
and the owner of this vessel belong to the first lord of Jin State. Oh, yeah. 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 So, Actually, the Jin State um, has lasted about 600 years, and mm -hmm. uh, there were uh, 38 generations of lord of Jin States. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, so it's from the to, first yeah, generation. Yeah, belong to the first generation oh, lord. I yeah. see. Okay, this way, please. I'd like to introduce another kind of cultural relics, jade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next cultural relics I'd like to introduce to you is uh, the jade ornaments. Oh, okay. You know, Chinese people like jade very much. Even till today, we could wear the jade ornaments. Yeah. And in ancient China, the noble people, they used jade to cover the dead body. Oh. Okay. So first of all, we would like to see that picture. That is kind of a tomb, the tomb, mm -hmm. and uh, that is the dead body, and it be covered by many different kinds of jade ornaments from face to feet. Okay. So please look at so. this one. This is kind of jade mask to mm. cover dead body's face. So you may notice there are two eyebrows. Nose, yeah. eyes, mouth, right? Yeah, I see. <laughs> Very interesting, right? So we have discovered uh, the biggest jade ornaments from the big cemetery of Jin State. Ah, okay. okay this way, please. It was also from, from Shanxi, right? Yeah, in the southern yeah. part of Shanxi province. In the ah, 1990s, okay. we have uh, discovered 19 big tombs oh. belong to nine generations uh, the Lord of Jin State okay. yeah, and their wives. Oh, yeah. So the noble people, they like jade ornaments very much. Mm. So we have found those kind of jade ornaments. Mm. What is this? This is the largest jade ornaments from the cemetery of Jin State. It is composed of 204 pieces of jade ornaments. So wow. it covers that body from neck to the feet. Yeah, you may wonder okay. that why the Asian people, they use jade to cover the dead body. Yes. Because the Asian Chinese people, they believe that jade has a magic power. It could prevent a dead body from decaying. Okay. <laughs> so they, uh -huh. maybe they thought the jade could prevent a dead body and then the soul will come back. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, so they use the jade to cover uh -huh. their the whole body. Yeah. Mm. So even in the yeah. Han Dynasty, this kind of traditional culture even existed. Ah, okay. 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 But this is only for rich people, right? Yeah, <laughs> very rich people, okay, <laughs> noble people. Mm. Okay, uh, this shows us the most important battle okay. uh, in the Three and Autumn period. It is called the Battle of Chengpu. Actually, there uh, were two states fighting with each other, Qin uh, and Chu. Qin and Chu. Yeah, Chu is in the southern part of China. Okay. And they all became very powerful, so they want to become the biggest one. They're fighting with each other. Oh. Here, uh, I'd like to introduce how they fight it with each other mm -hmm. in 2,600 years ago. Oh, they use so... chariot. 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 Chariot, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, um, please look at yeah. this chariot. So uh, each chariot, they the yeah, they have three soldiers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the middle one, mm -hmm. um, just like driver, <laughs> drive yeah, a horse. Yeah, drive yeah, the other two yes. soldiers, they holding different weapons. Yeah, did you notice different? Yes, the short yes, one. Yes, sword. Yeah, or? yeah, and uh, when other chariots, and this chariot, mm. they may be close to yeah, Trash, yeah, uh, and how they fight with each other. <laughs> Maybe the one with the long... Uh, but they have the horse mm. in front of each yeah, other, yeah, right? So yeah. when they close to each other, yeah. they need to turn left at the same time. Ah, okay. So the, 
the soldiers they can yeah. fight with each other. Ah, I see. Yeah, okay. so the driver yeah. was very important. The ah. driver. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so after this battle, time time. the Jin beat Chu state. So the Jin became mm. the biggest one. Ah, the one. Yeah, mm. in the spring and autumn period. Mm -hmm. That's why we call the Jin as the short name of Shanxi province. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because the Jin state used mm. to be the uh, powerful state in the central plain. And, and why is it called, called Shanxi now and not, not Jin? Uh, because in the Ming and the Qing dynasties, mm -hmm. they changed the names. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the other reason, because um, in the, uh, the last uh, period, we, we call it a warring stage, Zhan mm. Guo Shi Qi. Mm -hmm. The Jin state was divided into three parts. Ah, okay. <laughs> so we have another short name of Shanxi province, San Jin. San Jin. Yeah. Okay. Because the Jin state was divided into three small states, mm -hmm. Han, Zhao, Wei. Ah, Han, yeah. Zhao, Wei. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a real tomb belong to the ordinary people in oh. the Jin Dynasty. And people in the Jin Dynasty, they like Chinese opera very much. Mm. Even when they die, they want to um, opera uh, buried with them. Okay. <laughs> so this is a luxury mm -hmm. tomb belong to Let's the see. ordinary people. And mm. uh, this is a kind of the roof and the, the mm. room, and mm. uh, the tomb owner with his wife, they're sitting uh, behind the tables, and the two servants behind them, and okay. they, they look very happy. Okay, <laughs> so, so where's the opera? The opera ah. here. Ah. This is the stage. Five <laughs> actors or actresses played opera for them. Okay. And talking about Chinese opera, mm. it has a very long history. Even in the um, the Stone Age, the people dancing, singing, <laughs> yeah, for their ancestors. Mm. Mm. And in the Jin Dynasty, many people they writing operas. They're writing mm. some okay. uh, the romantic or tragedic, yeah, uh, uh, yeah stories. Oh, yeah, just like uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's not that old. <laughs> yeah. So in China, we have uh, uh, the similar kinds of opera stories. Okay. Zhang Sheng mm. He Cui Ying Ying. Uh, yeah. I have not heard. <laughs> yeah, it's a very uh, tragedy love story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know that Asian Chinese people, they like opera very mm -hmm. much. They want to watch the opera every day, even when they die. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that is the, um, the opinion about Chinese, um, Asian Chinese people. They didn't, belong, they didn't believe they will die. Okay. Yeah, they believe they could went to another world. Okay. Yeah, so they need to uh, bring a very beautiful tomb and bury some uh, accessories buried with them. Uh, so maybe they believe their spirit uh, stays. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Mm. <laughs> I see. Okay, this way, please. Okay, uh, from this part we could see many um, mm. shadow play. Yeah. And the Chinese shadow play uh, also has a very long history. Okay. Yeah, so there is a legendary story about shadow play. It is said that uh, emperor of the Han Dynasty, and one day uh, his wife was uh, dead, oh, and this okay. emperor so. yeah, was very sad. So he asked some, someone to make this kind of shadow play. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, play for him. So okay. <laughs> that is the original story yeah. about shadow play. And even till today, we still like shadow play very mm. much. Yeah, so this is uh, from very famous story, The Journey to the West. Ah, I know <laughs> that one. Yeah. yeah, and there are many different kinds of small shadow play. You can find that it's very uh, thin, right? Mm, yes. Yeah, so, so it's, yeah. Light can shine. So, right. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. made of uh, the skin of a donkey or oh. ox ah, or okay. cow. Yeah. Ox, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then painted with many different colors. And uh, actually, we don't use this kind of shadow play for playing. We use no? yeah, we use that. Ah, there okay. are many small states, just ah. like a puppet play. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, what is this for? 
this for uh, showing for showing. Ah, okay. Yeah, but this kind yeah, of good. yeah, the palace it can be put on the wall, okay. and the light they will shine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see. Mm. So in old times, they always had to use candles for showing, or. Uh, or yeah, sometimes. Candle, yeah, right. for example, this small room. Mm -hmm. So the players they just uh, hide uh, behind ah, this yeah. white screen, and the light will shine, mm. and uh, they put the shadow play, put that on this white screen, and then we could see the shadow. Okay. Mm. Ah, so we use Sorry. that kind of shadow play for playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are many small sticks. Mm -hmm. So the so play can, can mm. they also give a shadow play show here? <laughs> no, we don't have the the teacher <laughs> ah, playing for us. Right. Yeah, this is yeah. A very hard for playing because ah, yeah. yeah, they need to play the shadow play in the same time they need to uh, they need to play, they need to sing Chinese opera. Uh -huh. They need to say something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you ever heard of the Great War of China? Yeah, yeah. of course, of course. <laughs> so this map, yeah. you could see the Great War okay. in the Ming Dynasty. And why the emperor, they want to build the Great War? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, to, to protect, protect from, from the... the Outsiders, outsiders, like from, from the, the Mongolians. Mongolians yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so the green part is about the, the other minority in oh, ancient yeah. China. And so the emperor of the Ming Dynasty, um, the big problem is the, this kind of minority. Mm -hmm. So okay. he rebuilt the Great War. And uh, this emperor made nine different front fortresses just along the Great War. Only, Only nine? nine. Only nine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this shows us the nine different front fortresses. Okay. And in Shanxi, we have two front mm. fortresses. So they put many soldiers and horses just uh, yeah, here at the front fortresses. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the number. This is number of number soldiers, of yeah, soldiers horses. horses. Yeah, so, so the food uh. became a big problem. Mm. So the government, they yeah. asked the businessmen if they could provide food to the front fortresses, mm. they will get salt. Okay. So the businessmen, they could sell salt for profit. Uh, yeah. So the Shenxi businessmen, they just grabbed this chance. They supply food to the front fortresses okay. and they sell salt. Mm. So after many years, the Shenxi businessmen, they became very rich. Okay. So, <laughs> so there was no, no other, other way, way to get, get salt, salt for them? them? Yes, because uh, the ordinary people, the, the mm. government, they just uh, control the salt. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the salt used to be very... Uh, Expensive. I see. Mm. Uh, so the Shanxi businessmen, yeah, they became very rich. Mm. <laughs> so that was a good op opportunity. Mm -hmm. mm. And this is the Salt Lake in ah. the southern part of Shanxi province. Ah, Yuncheng. Yuncheng. Yeah. yeah. Still exists. Have you mm. ever visited this? Uh, I, I wanted, wanted to, to, but I <laughs> have never no, found I, time. I can show you some pictures. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> very, very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. here, you, you, you could see this map. Mm -hmm. yeah? So the middle part, that is the salt lake. Okay. They, this salt lake mm. just uh, controlled by the government. Ah. So along this, uh, the silk, uh, the, the salt lake, mm. that is the wall. What? Yeah. 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 So there are many soldiers yeah. protect this. Protect yeah. Salt. Yeah. So okay. okay. Huh. Okay. This way, please. Okay. Uh, this exhibition is about Asian Chinese porcelain. Oh, yeah. And you know China, that means porcelain. Mm, yes, it's very famous about <laughs> yeah, China. So uh, the Chinese people, they first uh, um, they made this kind of porcelain in the uh, last period of Northern Han Dynasty. Mm. 
about okay. 1,500 years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah, the porcelain so. used to be very expensive, only mm. used for noble people. Mm, okay. Yeah, so the archaeologists, they only could discover the kind of porcelain from the noble tomb, uh, yes. yeah, not for yes. the ordinary people. Mm. And this kind of porcelain used to be very popular in mm -hmm. the Northern Dynasty. Okay. And uh, this used for holding wine. Mm -hmm. You may notice that the handle, mm -hmm. just like a dragon. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, this one, that is a small mm -hmm. chick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chick mm -hmm. yeah. So this is very, it, it's very hard to uh, make in that period. Mm -hmm. Very hard mm -hmm. to, uh, the design and mm -hmm. other things. Yeah, you must be very skillful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, another one I'd like to introduce to is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Those are the porcelain pillow. Okay. <laughs> so, so who used it? <laughs> yeah, the noble people and oh, really? the doctor. Okay. Yeah, even when they die, they could use this for um, buried with that body. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah but yeah. they have very beautiful pattern. For example, this just like a beautiful flower mm -hmm. yeah, with pearl. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes they could write a kind of a very famous poem on mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. And this one, it has so many different kinds of flowers and other things. So the doctor, they could use the people, they put hand on this and the doctor, they mm -hmm. could. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. used for the doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. they made the pillow just like a tiger, small tiger, okay. and for children. Very cute, very beautiful. Ah, but that's not for actual use, only for uh, no. decoration? They could use, really? yeah, in the daily life, they could use. <laughs> very hard, uh -huh. <laughs> very cold, yeah. Okay. And some Vases, pots? Uh, yeah, this used for, um, they could put a kind of flower. Mm. Yeah. And this one, the people make up. Yeah. Make up? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you put it inside? And yeah, then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. That looks very luxurious. Mm -hmm. Thank you a lot, Grace, for this amazing journey today in the Shanxi Historical Museum. Mm -hmm. It was really very wonderful. And I have learned a lot about the Shanxi history and Shanxi culture today with you. Thank you for that. My pleasure. Of course, I couldn't see everything about the Shanxi culture and Shanxi history, and I think there's a lot more to discover. So you are warmly welcomed to join me in this discovery and come to the Shanxi University of Finance and Economics then we can discover more about the Shanxi history and Shanxi culture together. See you then. <laughs>